Hello, welcome to a Blue Elephant Ventures video. This video is going to cover the number four hand plane. In my adventure into getting into woodworking, you're going to need some hand tools because I want to use hand tools versus motorized tools, at least as much as I can. And you're going to need a number four hand plane. So, in looking for hand planes, you know, there's several options. You can get a new one, or you can buy one off an auction website, or a garage sale, or a flea market, and get a used one. There are some things that I wanted to cover if, if you are looking to do that, and some of the reasons why you'd want to get a new one, or go with an older one. And to have both, well, I, I have both, so, um, and I would probably get both eventually. So, uh, but I want to, let me open up the number four, because this is brand new. And in looking for a new hand plane, uh, they can get quite expensive. I went with uh, Wood River, because for the price, you just can't beat the price for a, a brand new hand plane. And that's why I went with Wood River, because I can afford it. So, here is the new Wood River, my new Wood River, number four hand plane. And the features, you've got wood handles. You've got a really, really thick blade here. And uh, I like it, it's robust. It just, it feels solid, looks solid, so it must be solid. One of the things about a new hand plane, especially a more professional tool, is that this is flat. I know this is flat. There's not anything I need to do with this to, to get it set. It, it's ready to go. And that, that's one of the main reasons to get a new hand plane is that there's nothing you need to do to this except maybe adjust the blade and get it to go. That's it. So I'm not going to go into to demonstrations at all because uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. To There's millions of videos out there on, on just about everything. But the reason why to get a new hand plane is if, if time's a factor um, and you can afford it, just get a new hand plane. You know this is functional, you know it works, and that, that can give you a base for others that you get. So this is the brand new Wood River hand plane. And I really like it. I spent some time looking at it. So, and from doing the research and getting it, I'm very pleased so far. So, but my first hand plane was the Stanley Bailey number four. This one has a corrugated bottom. Uh, I can't tell you the difference really. Some say, looking at, you know, forums that talk about this stuff, some say that it was to cut down on wood chatter. Wood chatter is when the blade, the iron, skirts across the wood and shakes. It'll leave like, leave the surface pockmarky. You know, they call that chatter. So, um, I don't know why this is corrugated. Some say it was for cost saving measures. I just, I can't tell you. This was the first one that I got, and I basically looked at it. Oh, it was Stanley number four, click, and I bought it. Uh, even though it was quite dirty and rusty, it cleaned up nice. I was able to get this to work, and that, that's a major plus, especially if you're just getting into it, if you're just buying your first tool. Um, I didn't really know what to look for. And so this was luck. This was just luck. The reason why it was lucky is this is a, a, a model that has the brass on the handles, the hold downs, has the brass knob here. And the main feature, the one that I like the most, is it has the frog adjustment screw down here. And that, I can't tell you what a plus that is. And so that's why I say I lucked out when I bought it because it just had all the, the features that uh, 
I, I should have been looking for. So uh, this is a Stanley Bailey number four. And um, it, it's really nice and it works well. I was able to get it to shave. So if you're looking at a hand plane, look for the Baileys. I don't think you can go wrong, but make sure you got that frog adjustment screw. And I'm gonna get into that. The second plane that I bought, uh, because I read some of the forums, they say, oh, you, you gotta have a smooth bottom hand plane. Well, the one I bought had was corrugated, and uh, so I wanted to buy one that did not have the corrugated bottom. And so I bought this one. It was a Stanley. Had a smooth bottom. I said, oh, great. Clicked on it. Here it comes. This is what I got. Handles are nice. You know, the, the, this isn't nice. It's hefty. You know, I mean, it... it it might even weigh a little bit more than the Stanley Bailey that I got, but this does not have a frog adjustment screw. And this one, I got so frustrated trying to set this plane because there's two screws in here. If you take this off, take the blade off, there are two screws in here. And basically, to get this to where it needs to be, you gotta wiggle this around kind of get it okay is this where I want it screw it down then you got to put this, all of it back you got to put all of it back put this on put the keeper on and not to mention you got to clean all the parts up which I did but okay now got it back together again and the frog could be canted you know so there's no point in trying to adjust the blade because the frogs already cocked the blade to one side and it, it's almost impossible. It is impossible for me to set this thing. Now, now, from what I've read, people have, you know, people can, you know, you can set this, and once it's set, you're, you're good. Usually people just leave it alone, and I understand why. I could not get this to set. I've spent hours and hours trying to get this to uh, work, and it's beyond me, so. The amount of hours I spent on shining this up, because this one looked pretty much like this one, rusty, and I cleaned it up. So I, I spent a lot of time on this thing, and for it not to work, that was just heartbreaking for me. And now I don't even know what to do with it. Um, I'm not even really gonna. I'm not even gonna try to resell it. I, I, I now have a nice shiny paperweight. And that, that's, that's all I can say about that one. It, it doesn't have the frog adjustment screw and it, it just made it impossible for me to get it to work. So I decided to get another one. And so I bought this one and this one's beautiful. It's heavy, nice handles. It's got all the features, has the adjustment screw. When I was looking at it, I saw it, it was unique. I clicked on it. If I had looked at the pictures and read the captions of what the seller said, I would have noticed that it's cracked right here. The whole wing's missing here. And it's cracked right here on the base, right there on the corner. So uh, this is still a nice hand plane. I, I don't know quite how far I want to go to fix it up. I'm pretty sure as is I, I, I could get this to work, but uh, I want my tools to look nice. And I don't want to, to to I don't want this to look as is. So whether I weld a new piece on to make it whole again and then clean up, this is going to take a lot of time and effort. And, and this is basically a project plane for me. I'm not sorry that I bought it. And like I said before, the seller was totally open and honest. If I had paid attention to what I was doing, I might have thought twice about it. But I bought it. It's mine. So it's going to be a project plane. I will get it functional at some point. So those are the three planes that I got and after dealing with that, that made me buy the Wood River number four because this is ready to go. I don't have to clean it. I don't have to do any effort. I know it's going to work and that's what I wanted. I, I wanted a smooth hand plane and buying a new one saves a lot of sweat equity on my part. 
Now, now that I've done that, I, I bought those. I wanted to, I wanted one more hand plane. I, I do want a scrub plane. I don't know which one's going to be a scrub plane, but um, uh, because I have the Stanley Bailey corrugated one, I wanted a smooth one, and I was able to get on the website and buy one. This is a used hand plane, so if you buy a used hand plane, you'll get one. Maybe it looks a little bit like this in the package, but I want to show you what they look like used. Now you can spend the money and get one that's been cleaned up, but you're still gonna have to spend the money. This is pretty much the rock bottom price. I think I, I paid less than $50 for this. Um, the shipping and handling, I think uh, it, was, it was about 15 bucks. Um, but this is a Stanley Bailey, number four, with a smooth bottom. Now a lot of the Stanleys, all the Stanleys that I've gotten, this handle is loose. And there's ways to fix that and people have made videos on that and I'm, I'm not gonna go into that. What, what I do wanna go into is that it's gonna look like this when you get it. And to get it to look like this, excuse the corrugations here, but to get it smooth and to get it functional, you're gonna have to do a lot of work. A lot of work. So. If you don't have the time, go and, and get a new one. This, this I, I paid like $159, $160. $160. There's some tax involved, but it was it, it's not bad. The for a brand new plane, uh, a lot of them, you know, some of the other brands, were way too expensive for me. So uh, time's a factor. Get a new one. You, you're going to save yourself a lot of frustration and headache. And it's thick and robust, and I don't think you're going to be able to harm that one bit. But as far as the used one, if you get a used one, it's going to kind of look like this. And I'm going to do a, a, a like a, a video that shows uh, just how much effort goes into this to clean it up and get it working. I'm not, I'm not going to go into to tips just to kind of show you the steps and the progress that I've made in cleaning this thing up and getting it functional. Um, there are lots of videos on how to restore these things and I don't see the point in making another video because th there are excellent ones out there. But I do want to show just how much time it takes to, to get the, one of these restored because it, 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 it's an investment in time and effort and there's frustration involved to get the tool to where it's functional again you know I'm, God knows if it's been sitting in a puddle of water for the last 10 years you don't know but this one's mine now and I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna get it functional it's a Bailey I like the Baileys if you're gonna buy a used one look for Bailey look for Stanley Stanley Bailey if, if, if it's not a Stanley Bailey make sure you've got that little bottom frog adjustment screw that is number one number one when I look on the website, that's the first thing I look for. Does it have the frog adjustment screw? Yes. Okay, then you, you move on. That's, that's, that's a check mark in uh, the buying process for me. If it does not have the screw, right, and you get one that you have to manually, uh, I, I can't, can't do it. I don't want to do it. So I've already got one paperweight. I don't need any more. So... We'll leave it at that. Look for the frog adjustment screw. Bailey's are nice. Look for brass knobs and brass features on it. And that, that usually tends to tell you that it's a little bit better hand plane. So there's other brands out there. I'm not gonna go with, over all the brands. Look for the frog adjustment screw. Does it have it? Yes. Is it in one piece? You know, uh, your, your best um, thoughts on it. But for me, I will not buy one without the frog adjustment screw. The new ones, most all of them come with the frog adjustment. I think all of them do. Don't quote me on that. And this one also has the, the two screws where you can hone in the frog without taking it apart. So that makes it an excellent, excellent hand plane. You need a number four. So getting a new one, especially the Wood River is a definite decent price if you're gonna go new. I, I don't think there's a better priced hand plane out there. So those are the hand planes. If you're going to go for a used one, 
you know, you're, you're um, it's a um, buyer beware, you know, and, and most of the sellers are, are really pretty good and decent about it, but you don't know if the blades are bent, if some of the, if the chip breakers are bent, you know, and you get, you're going to have to manually smack that with a hammer and get it placed and set and without breaking it and, you know, the, you're going to, you might have to do quite a bit of work to, to fix up an old hand plane. They are nice, they're beautiful when you get them done, and so uh, it's definitely an option. And it's, this would be the, the, I think it's the cheapest option. But with the cheap price, if your time is valuable, then maybe it's not so cheap after all. So um, look, look at a new hand plane if, if that's a factor. So, and you know this one works, no problem. With this one, you're gonna have to mess with it and then determine if it works. Whereas a new one, you know it's gonna work right out of the box. So that is the number four hand plane. I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helps in your purchase of a hand plane, getting your woodworking adventure rolling. And I will come back with another video on cleaning this one up. So. Blue Elf Adventures signing off. Thank you for watching.